All right, guys, we are in the garage working on the KTM 2011 990 Adventure. We removed the old stock airbox and we are replacing it with a Rottweiler intake system. In the process of installing the new system, we are removing the SAS system from this motorcycle. So I figured I would film it and show you the kit I bought from Rottweiler. Again, this is not a how-to instructor instructional video. This is basically my journey on upgrading my KTM. So if you're looking for step-by-step -step on how to remove this system, this is not the video for you. This is just basically documenting my process and my journey upgrading my KTM 990. So uh, let me get to the first step and let's get going. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna remove this plate here. It does take an eight millimeter. So pull this out, pull this out, and this should pop right off. So let me remove this clip here too. Expose some of the wires, and this should just pop right off, just like that. All right, so Rottweiler does supply a block off kit for this SSA removal. I'm going to basically open up one of these and it should just pop right in like this you don't have to do anything else you reuse the eight millimeter bolts hand tighten snug and that's what it looks like so this right here we could remove it goes to this system here we're gonna remove this and there's another cap off on the right hand side so let's do that one okay guys to get to this cap uh, I had to actually remove bolts off the radiator the actual oil pan right here or the oil uh, reservoir and I'm not even in there these these cable these actual hoses are a bitch to get in there this thing is not easy because it's so tight it's so compact and with all these hoses down in here it's really restricting so I'm getting one but I, I have no idea how I'm going to get this back in I'm taking this out and uh, the bolts will probably fall and I'm gonna fish them out but um, dropped a couple of sockets so not a fun install all right, make sure you have a good magnet that you could basically fish those bolts out of. We still got to get this guy right down in there, which is uh, it's going to be a bitch. So uh, let's do it. I was able to get it out using a ratchet wrench. It came out. So look at it here. So this should just pull out. This whole system right here should just basically pop right out. As you can see and then we just need to fish this out right there you can cut it but um, as you can see it just comes right out and then we need to remove this clip because we're gonna put the dongle in here right here pop that out and then this thing should just pop out. So there it is. That is the SAS removal. So let's put the other end cap on and then we'll put the dongle on and we should be good to go. All right guys, there it is. The saviors of the day was this eight millimeter socket and this T25. Was able to get it in it's not fun it you know be pre be prepared to uh go to war there's a lot of uh limited space in there but it does look nice um unfortunately with the 990s the gas tanks hide this uh this cover but still it removes the whole sas system and you're able to put a nice box in here with the upgraded 
air filter. So uh, I'm going to put the dongle on now and show you what um, how to do that. Okay, guys, the last piece is to add this dongle. Basically, the dongle will fool the computer to think that the SAS system is still installed. So all we need to do is clip this in, just like that. Give it a clip. Boom. All done. So there it is. The SAS system is removed. It has the new cap on the left side. It has the new cap on the right side. And there's the dongle right there. Basically we'll fool the computer. And I will tie that down. And here is and here is the system we pulled out it weighs about two pounds so uh it's not going to give us any more horsepower but it will reduce the weight and uh looks a lot cleaner you don't have a lot of hoses in here so 